Well, Mr. President, extensive focus group testing tells us that the only way you can hope to achieve Bill Clinton-level coolness is to grow an afro. Oh, dear. Are you sure? Sir, you appointed me coolness advisor for a reason. It's because I know what's cool. But look, I, I tried that afro thing in the 80s, and let me be clear, it made me look like a dork. Are there any other options? Mm, Mr. President, neither the Rachel nor the Bieber tested well. God damn it, I'll never be as cool as Bill. Mr. President, sorry to interrupt your super important meeting. There's a national security emergency. Let me guess, Kim Jong-un wants to nuke us because he stepped barefoot on a Lego again. No, it's much worse, sir. Much worse. Mr. President, I'm sorry to inform you there is an asteroid the size of Mali headed toward Earth. So... Is Mali a big country or a small country? It's quite big, sir. It's the size of Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan combined. Listen, I'm not W, but I'm lost here. Sir, it's huge. This is the end of life on Earth as we know it. Can we Armageddon it? I'm afraid that was just a movie, sir. It's not possible in real life. Oh, so is there anything we can do? Mr. President, we're going to send a small group of people to Mars to colonize it and save the human race. Mm, like the Martian. Again, that was a movie, sir. We have two state-of-the-art spaceships for the mission. One will be full of bright, indispensable people. You know, scientists, engineers, biologists, lawyers. I'm Matt Damon. Okay, Matt Damon. The other spaceship will transport the leader of the new world. I suppose you're referring to me. Just a minute, Mr. President. There is an opportunity here. If you stay here and die with your people, you will be the coolest president ever. As cool as Bill Clinton? As cool as Morgan Freeman. <gasps> Then I'm staying on Earth. Okay, Mr. President, we'll proceed without you. Uh, so, who will go in my place? Great question, Mr. President. The protocol suggests sending the Vice President. Oh, yeah. But if he is not available, then we don't know. <laughs> How about we send all the presidential candidates, and they can duke it out in space? Actually, if you get rid of those jerks, the American people will love you even more. Then I'll be as cool as Samuel L. Jackson. Let's not push it. But who will we get to protect the candidates on the mission? No human could possibly tolerate being locked with all those people for so long. I know a robot who would be perfect for the job. You mean Hillary? Not exactly. Hi, my name is Robot of the United States, but you can call me Rodus. Hi, Hi Rodus. Rodus. Hello. I was created by NASA in the 90s as part of a secret project to help humans colonize Mars. When the damn Congress cut funding of the project, they put me on humiliating jobs like cleaning baths and swiping floors. No offense to you guys. Basically, politicians ruin my artificial life. Hello? Rodis, the secret project, American Pride of Prideful Hope, has been reactivated. I've got to go, you losers. My fellow Americans, the end of the world is upon us. An asteroid the size of Belgium, Uruguay, Portugal, Monaco, and downtown Detroit combined is headed toward Earth. The time has come to do whatever is necessary to save our species. Under my presidency, we passed Obamacare, same-sex marriage is now legal, and Kanye West ended up having two mother-in-laws. I mean, how cool is that? But now, all the success can be annihilated. But don't panic. We're preparing a mission to save humankind. It's like a new Noah's Ark, but in space and without the animals, and the ship is not made out of wood, and instead of Noah's family, we're sending our candidates. So, in reality, it's quite different from what I just said, like what I did with Guantanamo. Anyway, the mission will take some humans to Mars. The Bible and Bruce Willis call this day Armageddon. The human race will prevail because we are sending our best. All systems stable. Is everybody okay? Not really. I forgot my iPhone charger. Did anyone bring one? Or are you too old to know what a smartphone is? <laughs> I have an Android. You know, like the bottom 85%. What a communist. I mean, can you believe this loser? I brought this huge, amazing 10 trillion hour phone charger and it's gold plated. Gold plated. But I'm sorry, I don't lend my stuff to Mexicans. Excuse me, I'm not Mexican. I'm a second generation Hey, hey believe me, you are a Mexican. Nobody knows Hispanics like I do. We have a great relationship. They love me. They love Trump. You know what, Donald? My wife is Mexican, and I know Latinos better than you. Because... Because yo vi el chavo del ocho. Boys, boys, boys. Let's focus our anger on the real problem that's threatening the future of humankind. Hillary Clinton. 
<laughs> I thought you were talking about the asteroid, but you're actually talking about me. What a twist. <laughs> That's a joke, and because it's funny, I have to laugh like any regular human folk. <laughs> I'm human. I'm really looking forward to spending the next 260,000 minutes with you guys. Why don't you shut up, you gay, foreign-made, ugly, vegan, vomit, hipster-loving, homo, left-wing, commie, PC user, prick, Asian, sex, hamster, American, taking jobs, machine. Are you Muslim? You are, aren't you? Did you bring Listen to the